hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in the today's video we will see how we can log in with google in the postman let's start with the video so for this video we need a project google cloud project so you can go to this url console.cloud.google.com and log in with your google account i will put this link into the description so you can directly go to this link and create a new project select a project create new project and name this project let's say google login and create this project so after creating this project select this project And click on the menu button and select AP and services first we need our credentials OS 2.0 client ID so let's create one click on create credentials and select the auth client ID so first we have to uh, configure the consent screen so click on this select user type external so you can test your app with the test users click on create enter the app name login web these are the optional fields so enter the developer contact information save and continue and next we have to add the scopes so let's add two scope for now see your primary google account email address select this option and see your personal information including your personal info you have made public available select this option also and update click on save and continue so add the user here so by which you want to test this app so i want to test my app with the user code sagar dev at gmail.com add one and save and continue so this is the summary screen back to dashboard this app is in uh, testing mode so we can test this app with the test users so click on the credentials and create one credentials now select the web application type this is web app here we have to enter the redirect url of postman so go to postman and click on add so go to the authorization tab and select oauth 2.0 so here you have to select the authorization code from the grant type and then you will get the redirect url of postman copy this url add uri and paste it here click on create so your credentials are created copy this client id and copy the secret key also or you can download the json file also click ok so let's go to postman so here you can enter the name of token so let's say code sagar token and select authorization code authorize using browser so i have already selected this option so here you have to add the auth url so i will put these urls into the description so you can check and here you have to enter the client id which we have just created copy this id 
and paste it and copy the secret key and paste it here you have to add the scope so right now I am adding only user info dot email scope so next you have to click on the get new access token click on this this will ask you to login with the email id so you have to login with the id which you have put in the test users let's login with this email so make sure you have enabled the pop-ups so you have to go to the settings privacy and security click on site settings and pop up and redirect so select this option sites can send pop-ups and use redirect back let's retry to journey token so as you can see open the postman click on proceed and this is the token we have just generated use this token so we are done with the google login so let's try to fetch the uh, projects in the cloud to fetch the list of projects we have to call this url enter this url so as you can see request had insufficient authentication scopes we have to add one of the scope copy this scope and enter here to add multiple scope in one request just enter space and paste the another scope so let's create a new access token so this will ask for the permissions click on continue so this will ask for the cloud permissions continue and open postman go to proceed we name it token one so we have to select the to latest token here and click on send so now we are getting this error cloud resource manager api is not enabled currently this is disabled so let's enable this resource manager api from the project click on enabled api services click on this add button and enter the if service name the cloud resource manager service so this is the service click on it and enable this so we have enabled this service now let's try to fetch the list of projects so as you can see we have two projects one is google login which we just have created and one is test project which is in deleted state so this is our google login so in this way you can login with the google in the postman and call the api services of google so hope you like this video if you find this content useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.